Brothers and sisters, um, I just thought of something and I thought uh, that is really important for me to tell you this. Now, it, from the morning, since morning I've been watching these uh, near-death experience videos on YouTube and the people who went uh, to hell and back, people who went to heaven and back. And uh, I've been one person who is really very skeptical when it comes to supernatural things. But I was just contemplating and thinking about this. Remember the story of uh, Lazarus and the, and, and, and the rich man? So when this rich man was in hell, and uh, remember Jesus did not say this is a parable. He said he, he gave a story. And most of the time when he's giving parables, he could say, I give you a parable. But this one was not a parable. He just literally said what happened. All right. So now, the rich man, while he was in hell, he told uh, Abraham, please, would you send someone from here, from the dead, to go and tell people out there? And Abraham, the response was, was a bit, if, if you can understand this response, then you'll understand these people who go, who say they have gone to hell and back and things like that. Abraham said, even if they would be told, they will not believe let them let just they have Moses and the, and the, and the prophets and and they can hear from them because even if somebody comes from the dead they will not believe what does this mean it means that probably there are some people who came from the dead and they they said what they saw and nobody believed nobody believed because if i tell you even if i tell you you'll not believe it means i've told you often and you've never believed it means several people have come from the dead and I've told people about this and many people have never believed. Think about uh, people like Lazarus who uh, rose, was risen by Jesus from the dead. Lazarus, he kept on giving his story. I'm sure he lived and he gave his story. And remember, the, 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 the Pharisees, they, they, they wanted to kill again Lazarus because... Uh, Lazarus was giving a lot of information and was converting so many people with his stories from the dead. And it's not just stories. Jesus rose Lazarus. So Lazarus was saying something which is true. He had been dead for four days. Jairus' daughter, who and who, so many people who have who died in the time of Jesus and were, 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 were risen from the dead. Even Paul rose uh, 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 a certain young man who fell from the roof, he rose him from the dead. I'm sure that boy, within those few minutes, he already saw some things and he explained what he saw. And the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes that what has been will also be. There is nothing new under the sun. So if what has been, people have risen from the dead back then, even today there are people who have risen from the dead. There are so many uh, people who give the... Uh, their near-death experiences and what really happened and uh, I died. I, did. I, I know there are always fakes out there who will give their story and uh, it's just a fake. And they will say, yeah, I died and uh, just to sell a book or especially uh, sometimes I, I'm, 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 I'm usually very skeptic when I'm watching like things like shows like Sid Roth, sometimes I, I see there's a lot of salt there. There's a lot of, you know, add-on because it's more so of selling books. Like Sid Roth, uh, Supernatural. There's a lot of, sometimes I see there's some lies there. But there are people, there are people literally I can believe there, there are people uh, who have been there and they have come back and they can give their story. So friends, when you watch those death experiences, hell, heaven experiences, what really comes in your mind? Do you have the zeal of living right for God? Do you have the zeal of doing what is right? Or do you just watch them as entertainment and say, voila, I had that story, I had uh, there the is people who are burning and blah, and, and, and that's it for you. It should convict you. It should make you feel, I really want to live right with God. If this is what is going to be, if all this is going to happen in hell, then I better be right. Or all these good things are happening in heaven, all this beauty, all this nice smell, 
nice everything is happening in heaven then I, I rather be there it doesn't matter those people they are saying it in water or water but the, the message is one remember uh, the disciples they found uh, some people preaching in the name of Jesus and they went and told Jesus hey some people are preaching here in your name and Jesus said leave them leave them let them preach if, if they are not going against us then leave them so these people might be saying oh yeah there is a hell there is a heaven and uh, unless they are doing something which is really against the word of God then that's the time you can say okay these people have crossed the line but if they are saying they're preaching to you and telling you about what exactly the bible is talking about and saying hell like it is and heaven like we have read in the bible you see there's a there's a way to check the facts by reading the bible what does the bible say if somebody says something contrary to what the bible says then then there's something different but if it's giving a revelation of something uh, i saw this i saw this and you can compare the notes with the bible i just thought to tell you about this and uh, because sometimes we ignore some things and God opens, uses different situations, different people to evaluate and give us information. Remember, God used Nebuchadnezzar, who was not even a believer, to speak about the future and what would happen. Remember, God used so many people who are not even believers. God used different situations. God used this. God used that. God even used uh, 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 pagan nations to punish his people, like the Babylonian kingdom. They they were used by God to go and to, to punish Israel for them going against God. So God can use anything. He can use stones. And even those people, even others who are not believers, they say, oh, this, listen, just, just listen, have, have a discerning ear. But listen, listen and, and let it be something which can change you and you'll be able to hear and say, wow. This one, if hell is being described like this, then I better be right. If heaven is so beautiful like this, then I better want to go there. I just thought about this and, and just said, let me just tell you about this. And if you're not saved, please get saved. <laughs> the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all about understanding how that Christ died for our sins, he was buried and rose again. The third day, according to the scriptures, he died by shedding his blood because without shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins because the life of the flesh is in the blood. And Jesus had to shed his blood for you. So if you put your faith in the blood that Jesus shed in his finished work, then you shall be saved. All that is all you need to do. And you cannot lose your salvation because salvation is not a prayer, is not a giving, is not uh, something you do. Salvation is coming to the knowledge. The knowledge of what Jesus did for you and you change your mind that is what we call metanoia repentance is changing your mind from what you once believed to believing that now Jesus has done it for you all right God bless you